Hello everyone, how's it going? Today we're going to do lane detection. This is one of the most simplest image processing algorithms to perform lane detection. In the description, you will have the link to the Colab file, which will take you here. This particular application will is based on simple image processing, no machine learning involved, no complex algorithms, just a simple core machine learning algorithm. The aim of this project is to this and in the next few weeks, we're going to try and analyze different types of lane detection algorithms that are out there, test it for ourselves and see what is the best and what are the kinks and what are the different things that are that have already been worked out and then see if there is something that we can contribute and try to develop on our own. So we'll start developing this. And the first step we are going to do is clone this repository, which is right here, and uh, we'll open up the repository. So it is by this gentleman here. He has a Medium article also, which goes over the algorithm that he has used for this particular application. And it's a very neat application and uh, very nicely laid down and very easy for us to understand. The only thing I did was I used the Python application that he had and then transferred it into more of a collab friendly environment. That's about it. So, but let's go into what he has done and what, what the application stands for. So once you have cloned the repository, which, which is in this step, if you press the play button, it will clone the repository and it will download all the files that were there in this particular repository here. Once we have everything, we are basically interested in the director.py file, which we will be using here, and the input.mp4. This is the input file which he provided, and we will be using that to test this. And the output.avi file is what we will be creating once the application is done. But we'll come back to this later. For now, let's go into the step, step one, which is importing the libraries. And for this purpose, we are using OpenCV, we're also using the Google Collab patches version of CV2 underscore IM show. I don't think I'm using this, but this is more helpful if you're trying to visualize the image in the Collab environment. Then you have NumPy, which is imported as NP. Now let's go into the algorithm. Let's understand what's happening here in this code. The first step of the application is to perform canny edge detection. And this is nothing but Gradient detection, it goes through the image and tries to understand where is the gradient, and where is the difference that is happening, and it will try to identify all the edges in the image. Once the edges are already identified, which is this function right here, we're going to be pressing the play button where it just uh, or computes the any edge detection function for us. The second step is segmentation. And what is segmentation? So if you look into the image, now this is a lane detection image where basically the lane is on the bottom half of the image and the upper half, which is basically the sky and all other unnecessary objects, we are not really interested in them. As, as for, for our purpose, if we were to use this for a self-driving purpose, you are more inclined towards identifying where the location of the lane is. And the location of the lane is, of course, in the bottom half of the image. So we are most interested in this particular section and this section right here where it's converging and this section right here. So this is all what we need for our lane detection purpose. Everything here you see is waste and it's not gonna help us in computing the lane detection for us. So this is basically noise and we want to eradicate that. And for that purpose, we will use segmentation, which is gonna be basically filtering out all the unnecessary image. It will create a triangle that we are interested in. And this triangle is right here. One edge, one point is here. The second point is here. And the third point would be somewhere here. So this is what the triangle that we are interested in. Once we have identified the portion of the image that we want to concentrate on, the second step or the third step would be to identify where the lines are that we are interested in, which depict the lane. And how would you do that? The first step, once you're done with segmentation, once you're done with canny, you have identified all the lines in the image, then you perform something called as co-transform. I'm not sure how exactly it's pronounced, 
Hoog or Hoog transform. And this is basically designed to, it approximates the location of the line. Now, for example, if you go into the canny edge detection image, you have this particular line, which is perfectly aligned and there is no rough edges. And you can see there are some uh, lanes or some edges that is being detected here. Let me maximize this a little bit so it's more clear. So you can see there are some edges which are not fully completed. And here the whole line is almost broken down into a couple of parts. So all these are uh, noise and this might throw the algorithm off. And especially if you're using this for a self-driving purpose, you want this to be a continuous line so the algorithm doesn't get confused and it, it's not gonna cause any errors. So for that purpose, we want to clean this whole thing. And for that, we use hook transfer, which basically, it approximates the location of the line. So it can see the angle and the slope of the line and then approximately say, okay, the line which is starting here is probably going to extend till here. Similarly, the line which is here is going to extend till here. So it's basically an approximation filter for us and identifying, it's a very neat application. So if you study the hook transform algorithm, very, very, something very interesting to understand and see how it was developed. But what it does is just basically approximating the location of the lane for us. Once we have the hook transform and the hook line obtained, then the next, then the final step is to draw the location of the lines. So we're just going to be using or identifying where the coordinate of the lines are. Similarly, like you have the x1, y1, y2. These are nothing but the coordinates of the lines. And then using those coordinates, we're just going to be using the OpenCV line function to draw the lines on the main image using the CV2 line function. This function will just basically simply draw the line for us and it uh, will go through all the images and draw lines on all the images for us. Uh, the last and final, you have this ma master function, which is basically calling all the functions that we saw earlier, the canny, the segment, the who, the lines, the line visualization, and then finally the output file. So this is the master function which is driving the whole, whole application. It will call each and every function one by one in its order and then identify the output for us. Once we have the output, we're using this another driver function. This is for the collab purpose to make things easy for us. We have this driver function which is basically designed to read and input video file, extract each image from the video file and then send it to the master function as a frame, as an image, as an individual image. And then this image is being computed to the whole lane detection process. Once the image is detected, then it returns the output. And then this driver function takes the output and then saves it as an output video in the form of output.avi file. And it will be saved here in this particular section. You just download this by pressing the download function and you will be able to download the output.avi file. So that's pretty much it. So if you, even if you just pre, uh, go in run time and just press run all, it'll take care of the whole thing for you. With that, we come to the conclusion of this video. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.